Hey there guys, it's, uh, well it hasn't been quite that long, I just put a video up recently, but we're going to do something in Tractor that we haven't talked about, and not many people do discuss, about the um, cruise mode. So what cruise mode does, is you set markers up in your song, you build your playlist, and when you run that thing, you can DJ, but you can still walk away, and the mix that you actually had planned in the first place will continue on, and you can jump back in and... I've never really done it, but I am working on something to be doing a party very soon, like very soon, and because uh, we like to party. Shout out to uh, one of my best friends, Heather Van Viper, does the best mashups ever. She's heathervanviper.com. Um, she's on SoundCloud. She's all over the place. If you don't know her, you better know her. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do is right off the bat, what you want is your preparation list. Make sure your preparation list is clear, right? And I was just looking through my history, so I pulled in a couple songs, and so I know on this song here, right at this point here of the song, I'll zoom in, and this is kind of basic, like, you know, phrase mixing, right? So. If I start my next mix there, it's going to come out and everything's going to come in nicely here. Now, fortunately for me as well, too, I'm working with uh, another mashup that Heather did. And um, so, you know, me and her, we kind of think the same as well, too, when we think about music. She pieces things together the way they're supposed to be. So this one here, if we start it at the very beginning, when that one comes in, it's going to have this perfect mix out. So I'm going to back up here a little bit, give you a little bit of a preview. So I'm going to do this manually and then I'm going to show you how that thing's automated. See how it all goes together here. Check this out. I love her stuff, man. Seriously. I can't get enough of it. Probably best DJ I know, besides myself, of course. She's better than me, and I'm better than most. Okay. So now we're going to see how we do this all automated. So first things first. We'd add more songs as we go along, right? But just for argument's sake. We're going to control click and if we can ever get a camera to focus around this place, we're going to export that playlist. So one of the great things you could do, if you want to put this on a stick, let's say, right? You could say, copy the tracks to the destination, tell it where you're putting everything to. And on that stick, by all accounts, it's going to have the um, all the information that you need, right? But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to transfer the stripe. So you still have to analyze it when you get to the other end. But all your markers are going to be there. So that's the important part, right? So I don't want to copy the tracks. I just want to call this, I'm going to call this autopilot. Because maybe we're going to put this bastard on autopilot. Okay, so go to the playlist screen here now, go click, and you know, I'm always up for people giving me better ideas to do things like, for instance, this camera sucks. I have a better camera, but just didn't charge it up. That does say, uh, import playlist, and our playlist is in our documents folder, and there it is, autopilot. And we're going to use the file stuff, whatever. 
So there's my autopilot playlist, right? So I gotta go full screen here. That's, by the way, if you didn't know, now you do. That right there is autopilot, AKA cruise mode. Two, that's our faded marker. By default as well too, if you don't have a faded marker, it will just start it from the beginning of the next track, but I'm not trusting anything here. So I'm gonna put it right about here. And we're gonna hit play. I think you need to have, uh, I don't know what you need to do with the volume faders to be honest, we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna hit that. Okay, so automatically it raised my my volume up a little bit. And that should kick in. So only one thing that we forgot to do here is I need to go into the settings. And I think it's under the mixer. Yes. So for the mixer, you want to change. Come on, you silly camera. Can't focus with a shit today. Sorry for the shoddy work, guys. It's unacceptable at this point. So. You know what? We're going to just... I'm going to crank it right up to like 60. Ah, go over. Because... It'll be fine, you know what I mean? And we're going to do sharp. I just want the kick in instantly. You can look right on the screen see what it's doing, okay? Trippy stuff. That thing kicked in all by itself. Let's try that again. I was trying to turn it off because what happened was, um, because I was past the track, so as soon as I turned that on, it automatically wanted to go because I was past the load marker, right? So turn that on again. Well, as soon as I turned it on, it did it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So go back here. Okay, I'm not clicking anything. I'm just going to see if it'll just do it by itself. Perfect. I didn't have to do shit.
So that's that. Well, it's been 10 minutes. There's no goddamn way anybody even heard the end of that. If you did hear the end of it, send me a message. It'd be nice to know that there's somebody that stuck around for 11 fucking minutes for all this bullshit. Anyways, talk to you guys later.